Hey, thanks for tuning in. We're sitting in a 2007 Honda Pilot that won't start. I think I hear a little clicking under the hood, but let me turn the camera around. I'll show you that it's not starting, and then I'll put the microphone under the hood. You can hear that clicking noise, and that clues us in to possibly what this is. All right, I'll put the key in the ignition, try to start it up, and nothing. Oh, it just started. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, no start, no start, no start. Perfect, so this still is not gonna start. So that was unexpected. It did start once, turn it off, and then it wouldn't start again. So let's go under the hood. I'll let you hear that clicking noise. All right, let's set the microphone down right here. Let me try to start it and you can hear it. So that clicking noise clues me in that it might need a starter. But before condemning the starter, we want to make sure that our battery terminals, the positive and the negative, are on nice and tight. A loose terminal can mimic a bad starter. Once we've confirmed that those are nice and tight, let's check to make sure that the starter is getting what it needs, power and ground. We'll need a test light for this. Let's go back under the hood and get started. Everything we need to check is on the back side of the starter motor, so on this side. What we can do is remove this little plastic retainer for the coolant hoses. It should just slide off each one, just like that. And this little retainer comes out of the way. Now we can move these hoses out away as needed a lot better. So filming, because it's in this dark, deep little hole here, it's gonna be kind of hard and tricky, but we'll do our best. So, test light. What we we'll wanna do is take the alligator end right here and hook it up to a battery negative. Well, let's do battery positive first. We'll check to make sure that the starter has a good ground. So we'll want battery positive, and then this end will just go on the case of the starter, just like that, and it lights up. Because starters are grounded through the case into the block. So if we didn't have a good ground, we wouldn't get a good light. So that was quick and easy. Now we'll swap this over to our negative. Now we'll be checking power. There's two different powers we're looking for. A constant power that goes to the starter solenoid, that's a really fat big cable, and a small power called the S-terminal. I'll show you where that is. Let me see if I can get better light down there to show you where our powers are. So that big one is power at all times. I just pulled the boot back. Easy to pull back. With my test light hooked to battery negative, this end should light up the light bulb. That's power at all times. Nice and bright, we're good to go there. The next one is power only when the ignition is switched to the start position. Again, I have the boot pulled back. What we wanna do is set up our light so that it's making contact. Something like that, just set it there the best you can. I'll probably set it up two-handed. So now you can record with your phone this light, go inside and crank it over, or have a partner stand out here and tell you if the light lights up or not. So I'm gonna set you up with the camera, set my test light up a little better, go inside, turn the key, see if we got power. All right, we're all set up, let me go inside. Tell me if that light lights up. Ha, <laughs> it started again. The starter motor definitely needs replacing. But why were we checking what we were checking? Because every electrical component, in this case the starter motor, needs both power and ground in order to operate. The starter motor has one ground and two powers. The ground is on the case. It grounds itself through the block by way of the case. That's an easy test. One side of your test light goes to positive. One side of your test light goes on the case. Easy to check that one. The big power comes straight from the battery. That's what gives your starter motor all the juice it needs to turn your car over. The small power comes from the starter relay. Your starter motor solenoid acts kind of like a relay. It's grounded through the case of the starter and it uses a small power to turn the relay on or the starter solenoid on. And that's like a switch that closes or bridges the big power to the starter motor. Hopefully that makes sense, but that's why we're testing two different powers. The S terminal, which is power from the ignition switch, and then the main power, which is power from the battery. 
if we have a good ground and we have both our good powers, then the starter should crank over. If it's not, then we have a bad starter. So that is the diagnosis of this vehicle. Posted up above, we'll go ahead and do the repair. So if you're only looking for a diagnosis just to make sure that it's your starter or not, this was the right video. If you need the repair because you are sure it is the starter, go ahead, click on that link up above or down in the description, and that'll slide you right over to the repair video. Well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See you on the next one.